Hello everyone, this is Jennifer from Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Today I'm going to be finishing up some ephemera pieces that I found when I cleaned off my desk. And I've got some tags, some cards, some paper clips. Um, so let's just jump in and get started here. And I'm just gonna, I've got a cluster here that I started. Let's go ahead and finish this one up, let's see what we've got. Got a little bag here. Hope everybody's doing great today. Let's see, ooh, a little bit of lace in here. That looks like fun. Maybe a number. It's another tag, it's not finished. I am about to start a bl my black and white journal, so I really need to start make some, making some black and white ephemera. This is gratitude. Let's see what else we've got in here. Got a bunch of stuff. Like we just need a Need a focal point on there. I've got some really pretty butterflies here. Let's see, those are kind of small. Some stuff from my Timu haul. That's pretty cute. Let's do that. Hopefully this glue works for me today. I'm gonna use a little Fabri-Tac on the lace. I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. fun when you find these partly finished ephemera pieces and can just sit down and work on them. I've got a nice little box full of ephemera now that I've made. I'm using Fabri-Tac for the lace. It's my favorite to use for fabric or laces or trim. So I was, I'm thinking about doing a live uh, streaming event. I'm gonna put a poll out and see when the best time would be for you all to participate in something like that. I'm interested in um, what you all think about that. Actually, let's put this there. Whoops. And what you'd like to see for a live event. I have some ideas, but um, <clears throat> if you have anything in particular that you'd like to see, I'd be interested in hearing that in the comments below. You know, whether it's a simple page spread or jelly print or whatever you'd like to see on a live. Uh, let me know in the comments below. That would be great. Thank you. Okay, so I'm trying to get this uh, back off the sticker with my fingernails. But I'm going to try it with a pin. I have better luck with that usually. Maybe. <laughs> Might have spoke too soon. Okay, I got it. That's my little trick. The pin works the best for me. A little art glitter glue on the back. So my stepsister was here for a week. She just left yesterday morning. 
and we had such a great visit. Put that gratitude on there, I love that. There, that one's done. Okay. This is a, a um, paper clip, hidden paper clip. See what we've got here. I've got some music paper. I'm just going to tear a piece of this. Tear it down a little more like that. I'm going to ink the edges with some black soot ink. I think it's black soot. Hmm. It's a little brownish, but close enough. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? This is so cute. Oh, I love these little stickers from Teenu. These little black and white ones. They're adorable. Let's see. There's a little heart that looks like newsprint. And then let's do one of the butterflies. I think that would be adorable. Sorry for all the crinkling. Okay. We'll put that heart down there a little bit. Then do a butterfly up there. I know it's very black and white, but I think it's cute. And I think it will look great in my black and white journal. Now we just have to deal with the backs of those stickers. Glue this down. Come on, you can do it. Okay. One more time for me. Okay, that's so adorable. Let's see if you can see that. How cute. It's another one. Okay. I got this one. I've got some book page here. I'm trying to do the same thing, but with some book page. Kind of a little formula I like to follow, kind of. You can really do it with any kind of paper, but I do like the look of book page or music page. You can get with some black soot again. Okay, now let's see. I have these other types of stickers. Let's see if we can find anything in here that we want to use. 
Ooh, that's really neat. These cherries are pretty cool too. I feel like we need some other kind of paper maybe. Let's see what we've got here. It's wedding paper. And I hope you're finding value here today. <clears throat> Excuse me. If so, please go ahead and beep the like button for me. I really appreciate it. Mm, this is black and white, but not really what I have in mind. Well, let me try. Sometimes I don't mind the straight edges, but sometimes I do. I'm going to tear this one off. Let's try this. Okay, I like that with a sentiment on it. I think will be great. And I'm gonna ink this. Glue this down. All right, where'd I put my pen? I know somebody sees it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I like these stickers. The back is not even with the um, front so you can peel them easily. That is so nice. So cool, all right. And then let me see if I can find my sentiment. Well, I've got some right here, actually. We'll just cut one of these out. Um, you are doing great, how about that? Okay, there's that one. What else do we have here? Oh, I've got, um, got this to do, and I'm actually going to glue. I did not ink this. That is not a great thing when you don't ink those before you start it, but I'm going to try to ink it now. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have? Some scrap paper would help. This 
is how I try to ink when I've messed up and not done it ahead of time. And it works pretty good. Oh, there's my ink. <laughs> Moved it on myself. Okay. And let's see what do we have here? What is this? Oh, I've got another tag that I started to make. <sighs> little black and white button or let's glue this flap down first of all I have a video on making these these are so cute and easy to make okay Oh, I love that bow. It's kind of big for this, though. Let's try one of these smaller ones. Oh, so cute. Hmm. I'm going to use a little bit of this. some reason I just like that darker one there. And let's get a sentiment too and see how that looks. How about what you are comes to you or how about say la vie? I like that with the bow. Say la vie. So while my sister was here, my stepsister, which we've been rekindling our friendship over the last couple months, I'll tell you more about that on Making Memories Monday, but we had so much fun. We did lots of stuff, lots of talking, of course, because I'm talking about a relationship that en not ended, but kind of dwindled, you know, 30 years ago. So we had a lot of catching up to do. Hmm, I'm not sure that I love that. I 
Okay, that I like. Let's do it like that. Sometimes just the little bit of a placement difference can make all the difference in the world. Just a few centimeters. And our C'est la vie. There's that. All right, what else do we have here? Got this little tag. It's pretty busy already. I'm not going to do, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. It's kind of a punch out, but once I didn't punch. Okay, there we go. And there should be a hole at the top, I think. Yep. So we gotta decide what side we want the front, what side we want the back to be. Hmm, kind of like this is the front maybe. Let's do some music page on this one. And I don't know why, but I love this little alarm clock. I think it is so cute. It's adorable. And I want to do maybe a different kind of thing. How about one of these maybe? One of a kind? Right there? Okay, I think that would be good. And we'll put a little black uh, ribbon or tie on the top. This is very flimsy. Let me give you a little tip. If you have flimsy paper like this, if you put something um, behind it that's thicker when you go to ink it, like I just doubled up this book page, and then you can ink it a lot easier like that. That's how I do it anyway. Whoops, sorry, keep bumping the camera. I'm really excited to make this black and white journal. I think it's gonna be so cute. I'm uh, tempted to do a pop of color in it, but I'm, I'm trying to not do that because I've made one in the past that was black and white with a pop of pink, 
that I really loved and I don't want to just do the same thing again, but that's kind of where my heart is leading me. But I, I really want to do something different, so I'm picking all black and white. Okay, and let me get my crop the dial. Put an eyelid in there. Let's do a, should we do a black one or a silver one? Let's see. Black one just kind of blends in. Oh, silver is cool. Let's do that. And you know, with your crop dial, if you want to set an eyelet, you put it all the way to the left, and then you have it on the biggest hill here. Okay, and then let me grab some black string. this today. Can't tell the difference between black and brown. What are those? Hmm. I think that's close. No, I don't know. I have some black ribbon somewhere. Voila, found black ribbon. All right, let's ink up the back of this a little. See if that shows, yeah. time do we have here? Wow, 30 minutes already. I guess we're done for today. <laughs> well, that's all for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, 
If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you visit my channel and watch my other videos. And um, please visit me at my Etsy shop. It's linked below. That's it for today. Take care until next time. I'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.